live from the local station. News 4 Jack starts now. A 49-year-old construction worker fell to his death from 10 stories high. We just learned he fell while trying to jump to an elevator. He was working at the oceanfront Pelican Point condos on 1st Street North, just south of Seagate Avenue. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michelucci is joining us from Jacksonville Beach. And Vic, police say he was wearing a safety harness, but something went terribly wrong. His name was 49-year-old Paul Knight, and I just got the report from police within the past hour. Truly a tragedy here. So police say he was wearing a safety harness, but for some reason it dislodged. I want to show you that is the condo complex right behind me. Look at that yellow device. That is a construction lift or elevator. It's called a Safeway. That's what he was trying to get on. He was on the balcony 10 stories up, and you'll notice there are no railings. When he tried to go from the balcony to that elevator, he somehow fell. You don't go to work to die. You just don't do that. Bud Underwood has seen too many construction accidents after a career as an investigator with OSHA. It is a sad wake up call. And, and what's, what's, what's really more, what is even more frustrating is you literally can go to any construction site, whether it be residential construction or commercial construction. Uh, and find somebody exposed to a fall hazard. We asked him to meet us at this scene where police believe a construction worker plummeted around 100 feet to his death. Residents say crews have been at this beachfront high rise for months, redoing the balconies. If they're working on these balconies, there should be some type of uh, guardrail system around the balcony, or they should be using some type of fall arrest. This police report shows 49-year-old Paul Knight was trying to jump from the balcony, which does not have a rail, to the construction elevator when he fell. Other workers saw it, and a supervisor tried to revive him, but couldn't. He died at the scene. As of now, we don't know which safety measures were or were not in place, but we know that falls are the leading cause of death at American construction sites. This man's employers and colleagues watched on as police and the medical examiner investigated. Then the coroner removed his body. The families that I've talked to over the years, uh, that's the imprint that I have in my mind. That's the hardest thing to sleep with at night. Tonight, one family knows their loved one is not coming home. And tonight, Jacksonville Beach Police and OSHA are conducting separate investigations. The company involved has been identified by police as engineered restorations. They are from Lawrenceville, Georgia. I did call their main line. I left a message requesting comments so far. Have not heard back. We're live in Jacksonville Beach. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, what about weather conditions? Could wind have been a factor in this? So that's all part of the investigation, Mary. It is slightly windy out here, maybe 10, 15 miles an hour. But when I spoke with a resident who lives up in this high rise, she says we get completely different weather up there. So 100 feet up, the wind conditions are significantly more. So that could possibly have been a factor, but we're going to leave that up to police and OSHA to figure out. Such a tragedy. Vic Michelucci reporting to us live from Jacksonville Beach. Thank you, Vic.